This is the most craziest news I've heard this year. Something that's definitely shook off me at my core. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm still, still shaking from this. Of course, this particular news comes from the one and only the most reputable news source in the world, TMZ. TMZ are reporting that JLo has pulled the trigger on divorcing Ben Affleck. Absolutely crazy news. Crazy flipping news. How dare she do that to Bay? How dare she look do that to Mr. Affleck? Mr. B dot, huh? How dare she do that? What's going on here, man? Absolutely crazy. I did not see this happening. I did not see this one coming. I didn't see it in any way, shape or cause. But the interesting part of it, no prenup, no settlement. Clean break. We both go our separate ways and that's it, sayonara. And obviously we've got the classic picture they always use for celebrity breakups when they have this like break in the middle. I love it. Whenever people get broken up, the first thing they do or whenever people break up, broken up, Jesus Christ, whenever people break up or divorce, I love the picture graphic they use. They always add a little like tear in the middle, a red line, an X. It's fucking hilarious. So the news says as follows, Jennifer Lopez has done what seemed was inevitable. She has filed for divorce from Ben Affleck, TMZ has learned, but there are no major twists, including the symbolisms of of when they were um, finally decided to do it. Jane Lowe filed the documents on Tuesday in LA County Court, but they were not filed by the lawyer. Jennifer filed pro, uh, pro per, meaning by herself and without any attorney. So nice and clean. They got married in private. They broke up in private. Fair. She listed the date of separation as April the 26th, 2024. God damn. They've been, so they've been split for a while, isn't it? Shit. <laughs> okay, however, today, August 20th, is also significant uh, of the benefit law. Um, it marks the second anniversary of the huge and more traditional wedding ceremony they held in Georgia. So it hardly seems a coincidence that Jen filed today. Now, here's a real shocker. Jayla does not say in her docs whether there is a prenup and sources with knowledge tell TMZ there is indeed no prenuptial agreement. That's, that makes sense, to be fair. That does make sense. They're both quite filthy rich anyway. Why would you have a prenup? It doesn't make any sense in that regard. Um, it continues on. That would mean whatever earnings or profit Ben and Jen made during their nearly two years of marriage, for instance, since they are tied or not, Ben starred in Air and Hypnotic and produced the, in, um, the Instigators. He's also wrapped up filming for The Accountant too. And J-Lo has been, during her marriage, she had a shotgun wedding, The Mother, and This Is Me and Atlas. Um, what's shocking is that JLo's fourth marriage and Ben's second. And you'd think a prenup would be obvious. Apparently, they thought it was a forever marriage, but it didn't work out that way. According to Docs, Jennifer waived her spousal support and is asking the judge to deny Ben such support as well. The main thing I want to take from this is this as follows. I'm just confused at this stage of life, considering where we are in culture, I'm still confused that some people are holding marriage up on a, on a pedestal like this, especially when you're a celebrity of these people's ilks. When you're J-Lo and you've been married four times, surely at some point you've got to look in the mirror and think, maybe it's me. And I don't mean maybe it's you as in you're a bad person or that you're a horrible wife or that you're a nightmare to deal with, which you probably are. But let's, let's, let's put that to one side. It's just more the sense of like, maybe if it hasn't worked out four times and we've only got a finite amount of time on this planet Earth, maybe it's best just for you to say, you know what? I'm going to chalk up to the game. Marriage isn't meant for me. That's perfectly okay nowadays. I think, I thought in the past, maybe, especially women, maybe had more pressure to marry. But I think nowadays, probably women have more pressure to have kids, which I still think is something that people shouldn't be doing likely with any Tom, Dick and Harry, especially some of the, you know, douchebag um, dudes who exist out there who kind of get a lot of pleasure out of making women's lives a misery. I think you should be very, you know, cautious about who you open your legs up to and who you have kids with. But surely nowadays... The whole marriage thing should be something that people should be really thinking long and hard about. And it should be an individual thing. It shouldn't be just because, oh, I got to a certain age or I'm at a certain point in life, I have to get married. Or I've been with somebody this amount of time, we have to get married. No, you don't. You don't have to do anything. You kind of define what your love is. You define what your situation is. If anything, the most important thing should be that you have somebody that is supportive, loving, caring, there for you in, in whatever way, shape or form that you think is, you know, is important and then you take it from there but the whole idea of like having a marriage having a wedding elaborate or small it doesn't really matter it's just unnecessary especially for some people who clearly aren't built for it and it looks like jennifer lopez and ben affleck ben's on his second she's on her fourth they're clearly not built for it unless unless there is a certain group of people out there similar to people who love to have kids just because they enjoy having kids maybe there are some freaks out there who enjoy getting married Maybe there are some freaks out there who enjoy the whole process of like 
you know, a, a seduction, a, attraction, seduction, compatibility, relationship, da, da 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 They enjoy the whole journey. They enjoy it. Where however way it goes for them, it's a, another story to add to their book of stories when they go to the bar and start talking to some random tourists or something. For me personally, I just think there's just far too little time on this earth legit far too little time it felt like just the other day that i was leaving sixth form honestly i can close my eyes now and i can remember the last time i left sixth form if i close my eyes harder i could probably remember the last time i left secondary school i could probably remember the, the you know the day the last day of secondary school where we all took off our t-shirts and started written writing messages on each other's t-shirts about how we wish each other luck in the future girls who you never knew fancied you it will leave you a little cheeky message on there um guys who you know who <laughs> that your friends with will draw fucking numerous penises all over your fucking t-shirt i can literally remember that if i close my eyes hard enough and then boom flash and it's completely over and now you're an adult you're paying council tax and flipping you know you're getting a fucking travel car to go to work and shit time moves very quickly and i just think nowadays considering how long i don't know the average time to get married what's the average time between a relationship maybe two years maybe four so you have to get to know somebody, you have to date them, be in a relationship with them for like four plus years before you get married. And then when you get married, you just have to make it work for the sake of making it work. I do believe maybe there should be a lot more like, I wouldn't say pressure, but maybe there should be a lot more onus put on people to try and figure out their relationship instead of just breaking up and looking for the next thing. Because usually the grass isn't always green on the other side. But I also believe that not everyone should get married, honestly. The same way not everyone should have kids is the same way not everyone should be married. It just doesn't make any sense because I can't imagine the hell, the stress it must cause to have four separate marriages on your docket, to have four ex-husbands. It's already enough when people have like a crazy amount of exes. You're like, rah, Ted, man. How many spirit tires do you have out there? How many, how many, uh, how many bits of yourself have you left out there in the world, right? It's just a mad how people can do that. Or just how many, like, you know, inane, mundane relationship conversations have you had that? How many, how many people's hands have you held? How many people have you swapped spit with? It's like just too much. So can you imagine marrying somebody, having been married four times, saying I do four times? God damn, that's too much for me. I could never do it, could never do it. And if for me anyway, I'm a very um emotional person and just being married twice and then having it end twice, even if I'm the one that filed for divorce, that would break my heart so much. I'd be so damaged. I couldn't go and find somebody else. But I think there's a lot of people out there who seek comfort in that relationship. They can't be alone. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe the getting married four times is like that girl in school that we all fancied who would never not be in a relationship. She always had a boyfriend always fucking had a boyfriend never sure of having boyfriends and guys enjoyed being her boyfriend you know that kind of girl so maybe this is like an advanced version of it that girl then grows up to be the girl that just loves to get married it's like yo like why why would you do that when clearly you're not good at it you might be good at the beginning stages but during it you're definitely not we saw those pictures we saw we saw so and again don't get me wrong i think ben affleck in general is a very like dour person right um, he saw like the good looking version of fucking Eric Griffin in that regard. Um, he's always fucking moody. But we saw so many clips of this guy. So many clips of Ben Affleck looking like he wanted to unalive himself. Smoking outside of his doorstep. Taking the longest, sweetest drag of that cigarette. Like it brought him so much comfort. You know, sighing. Um, dropping his shoulders. When I think Jennifer Lopez was one, this one image where they are uh, one video where they're about to jump into their car and she expects him to open the door and she just stands there and he's like, this what? Do you know what I mean? Like the international like sign that all men understand this woman's a fucking nightmare and they go around the other side and it's like, bruh, I'm okay with her being a diva. Like I don't mind Jennifer. Like when those stories came out about J Lo being a bitch and being very rude in person and stuff, I don't mind them. I like it. I like that she's she kind of acts how she looks. You know, you don't, you don't become J-Lo by being like a nice person. You become J-Lo by stepping over everybody in your fucking stiletto heels while you do fucking burpees. That's how you become J-Lo. I'm perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine. But I also think if you're that person, you have to understand it's unlikely you're going to be good at marriage. It's unlikely you're going to be a, uh, you're going to be, you're going to be somebody that somebody would describe as happy life, happy wife. No, nobody's going to use that um, phrase, right? Or that saying in relation to you nobody will do that actually nobody so you're better off just like you know you're j-lo you're still one of the 
you're still easily one of the top 100 attractive women in the world why not just have like a series of like boy toys that you have fun with and maybe like a couple of like older dudes with loads of cash in the bank that just fund your lifestyle or help you to just like not spend any money and then just continue doing what you're doing because i think j-lo now is like directing she's kind of getting into that sort of world like i think that sci-fi movie that came out recently that went on netflix i didn't watch it but it's one where she's like in some in some robot armor thing i think she may have produced that if that's the case and she was involved in it bruh why are you bothering getting married just be like one of these like you know just have be one of those older women artists who just do their own production thing on the side. You have some boy toys that you can fiddle around if you want some fun. Maybe even some girls if you're that way inclined. You got some older dudes from the Middle East who like you because you look like you could be from there. You could be from Oman, right? You could be from Uzbekistan. You could be from Puerto Rico. You know, you could you could be from anywhere and they love you. So just do that instead of getting married because it makes no sense. It really does make no sense whatsoever. But I'm happy to see for once one of these Hollywood marriages where it just ends and there's no crazy prenup. There's no fucking going to court and also it's all madness. It's just nice and simple. We're both rich. We both had the best time. It didn't work out the way we wanted it to work out. Let's just call it quits and keep it moving. That's how it should be. But I maintain not everybody needs to get married. It's really a fallacy. We've been sold. Maybe it's a disification of the world in general. I don't know. But either way, I think nowadays there are some of us in life and I think we know them in our circles and some of us might even be those people. We're not even good boyfriends or girlfriends. We're not even good boyfriends or girlfriends. What makes you think you're going to be a good husband or a good wife? There are things even now, simple boyfriend, girlfriend things you're not doing to please your partner or to please your fucking spouse. And now you're going to want to go elevate it, take it to the next level and do a whole wedding and marriage thing. Bruh, maybe focus on being a good friend. Maybe focus on being a good son, a good brother, a good fucking colleague before you jump up and try and take somebody, um, you know, and try and fucking take someone's hand. Because I also don't believe in wasting people's time. I hate guys who waste people's times. Guys who waste girls' time just because they're not sure or because they don't want to be alone. That's also some fuckboy shit. Like, don't do that. you are rather leave that person alone. Let them find their Prince Charming who's going to want to, you know, dote over them and be that fucking perfect husband. If you're not ready for that sort of time, just sit on the sidelines. That's really it. That's what I think we people should do. But again, will they? Probably not. And do I know anything? Of course, I know absolutely nothing.